Hi guys, uh, in today's session, I am going to start Fong shading. Okay, so before going to that, this is your Fong shading. Okay, so uh, there are two types of shadings will be there. So in shading, there are two types will be there. So the first one is that flat shading. So first I will explain what is meant by that flat shading. Okay, so consider this is a surface. Okay, consider this is a surface. So we are finding the intensity for a particular pixel so this is a pixel okay this is one pixel so we are finding the intensity for a particular pixel so the assign later that after finding that intensity assign that intensity value for the remaining pixel okay so based on one pixel intensity we are uh, we are finding the remaining pixels intensity that's it okay so that uh, that shading we can call it as a flat shading and in case of the flat shading there is no interpolation okay so but in case of the fog shading this form shading is an interpolation scheme of rendering okay so what is meant by that so consider this is an object okay consider this is an object okay so we need to find out the intensity for i1 and i2 okay so first we need to find out the intensity for these edges i1 as well as the i2 okay very simple so then we can trace the value for the middle value after finding the intensity for both for both i1 and then i2 based on that intensity you are just tracing the middle value that is ith value that's it okay so for example uh, one more example that it is your for example this is your surface edge okay this is your surface edge so uh, first thing is that you can take the n1 and n2 as a normal vector okay this is your n1 and this is your n2 so by using that interpolation formula we can trace the middle value that's it okay so in case of the fong sharing it consists of three steps okay so it consists of three steps so the first step is determine average normal vector at each vertex okay so consider this is an object okay this is an object then apply average normal vector at each vertex so this is first vertex this is second vertex and this is third vertex third vertex okay so apply average normal vector at each vertex so n1 n2 n3 we are applying the normal vector for each and every vertex the second step is that linearly interpolate per pixel normal across surface and the third step is apply illumination mode for calculating intensity of project pixel that's it okay so next step is that i will explain with uh, some example so this so this is a diagram of triangle okay so this is a diagram of triangle so we need to apply rendering operation for this so it means what determine the normal vector it means determine the normal vector at each vertex this is the first vertex and this is your second vertex and this is your third vertex uh, third vertex so apply the normal vector at each vertex so next step second step is that so after applying the normal vector at each vertex so draw one scan line okay this is a scan line so we can calculate the n using the interpolation scheme so n1 it represents the x1 y1 value whereas n2 it represents the x2 y2 value that's it and this is the middle value that's it okay x comma y next is that this is your interpolation formula that's it okay so y minus y2 divided by y1 minus y2 that's it okay so y means what in this point okay y y2 means this y1 minus y2 means y1 minus y2 n1 it represents this point whereas n2 it represents the this point that's it so we are going to find out the normal vector by using this condition thank you